Hello everyone. So in this video, two important questions that we typically want to answer about the data is uh, I'm going to discuss. The first question is what is the center of the data set? And the second one is how spread out is the set of data? Okay. So there are different me measurement that we can use that is called a descriptive statistics okay that can help you to answer these questions for example the center of the data right can be described in terms of mean median or mode for the spread of our data we can use the range variance and the standard deviation right so we can then use this number to compare uh, multiple data sets right this is how you compare two data sets and also the greater that our standard deviation is, then the greater also the spreads are. Alright, first, let's try to do some basic uh, statistics, alright. So I'm using here a Python and in a Jupyter Notebook. So how to set up a Jupyter Notebook and Python is a lot of, a lot of good available tutorials out there, you can try them. So the first thing is I'm going to use a library. So this is a great library for you to uh, start or uh, practice statistics, right? Okay, let's create the data now. Right? So what kind of data that we can have for this example is, okay, let's say you're trying to, you, you have collected the weight of the students in a classroom. Let's say the class contains 10 students. Okay, let's try to create examples of data maybe 56 55 67 78 49 62 56 59 71 51 all right so it means that right, we have 10 data here that is actually the weight of students in a classroom all right so the first thing here is i would like to find the mean right the center of the data so let's use let's find the mean here all right so we get around uh 59.4 right so now let's try to find the mean for the same set of data Right, we get 57.5 right. so basically this is the things that we can actually use to find or to find the center of the data okay now let's go for the spread of the data the first thing is actually finding the range so the range is actually uh, you take the maximum value in your data and then you minus with the minimum value in your data so we can use this function in Python so we get 33. So the 33 is actually is the range of the data here. Alright, now let's try to find the variance. So in the same way that the mean is used to describe the central tendency, variance is intended to describe the spread. Okay, now let's try to find the variance for the same data. Alright, so you will get uh, 95.4 and 4. And if you want to find the center deviation, it will be like 9.76933, right? So now let's go to our question. So let's consider from this description uh, what it will mean to have a standard deviation or a variance of zero, right? So when, when do you think uh, a variance can be zero? Right. So when a variance is actually equal to zero, this will indicate that there is no spread at all in our data set. Okay. So all of the individual data values will be, uh, it will be together as a single value, since there will be only one value that our data could have. So this value actually constitute the mean. Okay. It's actually similar to the mean. So this is where 
when the mean is actually equals to every single data value in your data set and it will make the variance actually equals to zero. So let's try from this example. Let's say everybody in this classroom have the same weight. It's mostly very difficult to achieve this. So it's just to show you the example when a variance can be zero. So let's try to find the mean first now for this. So it means you'll get a mean that is actually equal to the every single data values in this data set. So if this is the situation, you will get a variance that is actually equals to zero. Okay. In this situation, when all of our data values are the same, there will be no variation at all or no variation whatsoever all right so i'll stop for this video today thank you very much